Hello dear students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. DC Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sant Longowal Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longowal. I am here to present the paper, Technology of Meat, Poultry, Fish and Seafood Products. Under this fish and seafood processing, the fish grading, chilling and freezing are the very important aspects in terms of processing. And these aspects of this fish and seafood processing will be explained to you in the present module by my co-author, Mr. Narendra Kumar Chandla. Hello students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Narendra Kumar Chandla from Sant Longobal Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I am going to talk about module 30 of paper number 8 that is technology of meat, poultry, fish and seafood. In this module, we will be discussing about fish and seafood processing, which includes fish grading, chilling and freezing. Seafood is any form of the sea life regarded as food by the humans. Seafood is an important source of protein in many diets around the world, especially in the coastal areas. Seafood prominently includes fish and shellfish. Shellfish includes various species of molluscus, crustaceans and echinoderms. Historically, sea mammals such as whales and dolphins have been consumed as food, though that happens to a lesser extent these days. Edible sea plants such as some seaweeds and microalgae are widely eaten as seafood around the world, especially in the Asia. In North America, although not generally in the United Kingdom, the term seafood is extended to freshwater organisms eaten by humans. So, all edible aquatic life may be referred to as seafood. The harvesting of the wild seafood is known as fishing, while cultivation and farming of the seafood is known as aquaculture or the mariculture. Seafood is often distinguished from meat, although it is still animal and is excluded in the strict vegetarian diet. Most of the seafood harvest is consumed by humans, but a significant proportion is used as fish food to farm other fish or animal. In these ways, Seafood is indirectly used to produce further food for human consumption. Seafood is fed to the aquarium fish or it could be utilized to feed the domestic pets such as cats and a small proportion is used in the medicine or is used industrially for non-food purposes like for the production of leathers, products such as fish oil and sepulina tablets are the few examples of seafood which is extracted from the sheafish. In this module, students will able to understand about fish and seafoods, fish product, fish trading, fish chilling and freezing, and we'll talk about the rate of chilling advantages and disadvantages of chilling and freezing, types of freezing and we will talk about the various equipments which are used in the freezing. Seafood is any form of sea life regarded as food by humans. The harvesting of wild seafood is known as fishing and the cultivation and farming of the seafood is known as aquaculture, mariculture or in the case of fish it is known as fish farming. Seafood prominently includes fish and shellfish. 
Salafish include various species of Bolus, Cruetanius, and Echinodermus. Edible sea plants such as some seaweed and microalgae are widely eaten as seafood around the world, especially in Asia. Seafood is an important source of protein in many diets around the world, especially in the coastal areas. Products such as fish oil and spirulina tablets are also extracted from the seafood. Whole fish. The fish as it originally came from the water with no physical processing. Drawn fish, a whole fish which has been evistrated that is had its internal organ removed. Dressed fish, fish that has been scalded and evistrated and is ready to cook. Pan dressed fish, a dressed fish which has had its head, tail and fins removed so it will fit in a pan. Filleted fish, the fleshy sides of the fish cut lengthwise from the fish along the backbone. They are usually boneless although in some fish small bones called pins may be present. Skin may be present on the one side, two butterfly fillets may be available. This refers to two fillets and together by the uncut flesh and skin on the belly. Fish sticks. Large dressed fish can be cut into cross section slices, usually half to one inch thick and usually with a cross section on the backbone. Fish sticks are pieces of the fish cut from blocks of the frozen fillets into portions at least three to eight inch thick. Sticks are available in fried form, ready to heat and frozen raw. Coat it with batter and bread it, ready to be cooked. Fish cakes are prepared from flaked fish, potatoes and seasoning and shaped into cakes, coated with batter, bread it and then packed and frozen, ready to be cooked. Fish finger, long but thin fish are molded into shape of the fingers. Fish grading. Grading is a practice of selectively harvesting fish so that only the best quality fish are brought ashore. The practice is popular in the situations under individual fishing quotas where only a limited number of fish are allowed to be harvested. Following the letter but not the spirit of the law, fish are caught and if not considered optimal in the term of the size and quality, thrown back into the ocean. The practice of high grading allows fishers to get high prices for their limited catch but is environmentally destructive because many of the fish return to the water die. Fish grading objectives. The objectives are harvesting juvenile fish prior to adulthood before stocking them in fattening ponds. Best quality fish, bright eyes having higher yield of flesh, separating faster from slower growing stock, for example, male and female tilapias, early life of predatory fish when the range of the sizes become too large, selecting predatory fish for a suitable size to use for controlling fry populations, selecting fish of a suitable size for the polyculture. Chilling and freezing. Chilling is the process of cooling fish or fish products to a temperature approaching that of melting ice that is 0 degree centigrade to 5 degree centigrade. Preservation techniques are needed to prevent fish spoilage and lengthen the shelf life. They are designed to inhibit the activity of the spoilage bacteria and the metabolic changes that results in the loss of the fish quality. Spoilage bacteria are the specific bacteria that produce the unpleasant odors and flavors associated with the spoiled fish. Fish normally host many bacteria that are not spoilage bacteria and most of the bacteria present on the spoiled fish played no role in the spoilage. To flourish, bacteria need the right temperature sufficient water and oxygen and surroundings that are not too acidic because if the conditions are acidic 
then there may be the possibility of the spoilage of the fish. As water after harvest could spoil the fish, it is therefore subjected to the frozen conditions using freezing and many other techniques of freezing like individual quick freezing known as IQF and air blast freezing. If the temperature is decreased, the metabolic activity in the fish from microbial or autolytic processes can be reduced or even stopped. This is achieved by refrigeration where the temperature is dropped to about 0 degree centigrade or even freezing where the temperature is dropped below minus 18 degree centigrade. On fishing vessels, the fish are refrigerated mechanically by circulating cold air or by packing the fish in the boxes within the ice. Chilling and freezing. Chilling is the process of cooling fish or fish products to a temperature approaching that of the melting ice that is 0 degree centigrade to 5 degree centigrade. Preservation techniques are needed to prevent fish spoilers and lengthen the shelf life. They are designed to inhibit the activity of the spoilers bacteria and the metabolic changes that result in loss of the fish quality. The important chilling method of the fish and the fish products at non freezing temperature are ice storage, chilling seawater storage, chilled freshwater storage, mechanically refrigerated seawater storage and cold air storage. Now we will talk about iced storage. The major advantage of using ice for chilling the fish is that it has a high latent of heat of fusion so that it is capable of removing large amount of heat as it melts without changing the temperature at 0 degree centigrade. During transition from ice to water, 1 kg of the ice absorbs approximately 80 kilo calorie of heat and this will sufficient to cool about 3 kg of fish from 30 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade. Hence, theoretically, about 30% of the ice is needed to bring down the temperature from ambient conditions to 0 degree centigrade. As far as block ice is concerned for the preservation of the fish, block ice preservation of the fish is conventionally manufactured in the block form which is crushed to smaller pieces for icing. Crushed ice has a large surface area which will ensure rapid cooling than the large blocks. For making the block ice, water in the ice can is placed in the tanks of refrigerated sodium or calcium chloride solutions. Ice blocks are formed within 12 to 24 hours. So, this way we can preserve the fish. Now, we again talk about preservation technique by flaked ice. Ice with the smooth contours and in the shape of the very thin flake is called flake ice, which is used for the chilling of the fish after immediate, immediate harvesting. It has an area of 100 to 1000 millimeters square and a thickness of 2 to 3 millimeter. Flake ice has a very high area per unit mass and can cover large quantity of fish for a given weight when compared to the crust block of ice. Flake ice is usually made by spring water onto the surface of a 
refrigerated drum. The ice sheet form is scraped off in the form of dry subcooled flakes. In some other methods, the scraper and the water spray is rotated inside a stationary drum and the ice is formed on the inner surface. The refrigerant temperature is in the range of minus 20 to minus 25 degrees centigrade and the flake ice production is automatic, continuous and quick. Now we will talk about soft ice. Soft ice is made by freezing a weak brine or sea water in a drum provided with the refrigerated walls. The crystals of the fresh water ice forms slurry in the brine as temperature falls and it is pumped into a storage tank. Ice crystals are skimmed off from the tank to be used as soft ice slurry. It has the advantage of making perfect contact with the material as a fish. Besides, it does not cake or forms air pockets as it can happen with the other form of ice. Now we will talk about chilled seawater storage. In this case, the fish is surrounded with the mixture of ice and water. When enough ice is added to the system, it will bring the temperature of the water near to 0 degree centigrade. The water will remove the heat from the fish. Because of the maximum contact between the cooling medium and the fish, the cooling rate of the fish in the CSW type of refrigeration is higher than that of the fish in the ice. CSW can be adopted in fishing vessels as it has many advantages over the ice storage. CSW system is used for the containers who are bulk storage of catch on board the vessels. This expedites the handling of the catch. The main advantages of the CSW system are listed. First is faster cooling rates. Second is maintenance of a uniform temperature. Third is less damage to the fish. Fourth is easy uploading of the fish during the pumps, pumping. And last is refrigerated seawater storage. In this system, the seawater is cooled by mechanical refrigeration. The advantage of RSW over CSW is that there is a reasonable control of temperature over a range, which is not possible in case of CSW. At 3.5% of salt solution, the seawater has a freezing point of about minus 2 degree centigrade. And if refrigerated, it is possible to reduce the temperature up to minus 1 degree centigrade, where maximum storage life for a chilled fish can be obtained. RSW system, although more complicated than CSW systems and are not necessarily more expensive to operate. As far as the operation is concerned, the basic component of this system are a heat exchanger to remove heat from the seawater, a mechanical refrigerator to discharge heat from the system and a circulatory system to transport a refrigerant between the heat exchanger and to the refrigerator. The rate of chilling. The rate of chilling is derived by the various factors. The size, shape 
and thickness of the fish, the method of stowage, adequate mixing of the ice, water and fish, adequate contact of the ice in air with the fish surface, the size of the ice particles, etc. Advantages and disadvantages of chilling and freezing. In chilling, short term storage up to one month, maximum of some species only a few days for others. In freezing, long term storage is done for a year or more than a year for some of these species. In chilling, storage temperature is 0 degree centigrade while in case of freezing the storage temperature will be below 0 and is probably minus 18 degree centigrade. In chilling these are processes relatively cheap and on the same time freezing process is relatively costlier than the chilling. In case of chilling product resembles fresh fish and in freezing there is a degradation in the quality of the fish. In case of chilling, it is a relatively low technology while the freezing is a relatively very high technology. In case of soft chilling, there is no requirement of fish skill labor that means low skills required over there. In case of freezing, high skill is required. In case, case of chilling, portable refrigeration are possible while in case of freezing generally static operations are possible that means we cannot move the equipment of the freeze freezer smoking objective the preservative effect of the smoking on the fishery produce is said to be a combination of the following factors surface drying which provide a physical barrier to the passage of the microorganisms and a hostile environment for any aerobic microbial proliferation. Deposition of phenolic components which are having their antioxidant activity and delay the process of auto-oxidation which causes rancidity. Is of generally highly unsaturated fish lipids. That is your deposition of antimicrobial components which helps in reduction in microbial load of the fish produce. Antimicrobial components examples are phenols, formaldehydes and nitrites. In case of salting, in this process smoking, the salting also have its interface objective as it increases the overall acceptability along with the reduction in the water activity. Freezing of fish and seafoods. The quality of the fish after smoking is not merely dependent upon the smoking process and parameters but pre-smoking operations have significant role in achieving best results in the smoking. Splitting and cleaning. The fish harvested, chilled, frozen or further processes. Fish are tears and all the pieces of the gut, gill and the kidney must be removed as this spoils quickly and may spoil the other good fishes by carrying out microbial chemical reactions. Salting, fish may be soaked in strong brine and permitted color may be added to brine to impart the color during smoking. Time depends upon the size and fat content of the fish. The salt requires for this is 2 to 3 percent. If the product is to be eaten as main dish rather than a condiment. Brine strength of 70 to 80 percent saturated brine is used and must be changed once in a day. That is the hanging process. In this process, fish is hanged to drip either on racks or in kin dryers. Protein dissolved in brine and give a sticky solution. During the hanging period, drying the cut surface and 
facilitate this for smoking process. This helps in producing glossy skin or pellicle. The best gloss is obtained at 70 to 80 percent brine solution. Smoke production. In this we will talk about the production of the smoke by the process of friction and smoldering. In friction, smoke generation by friction is a flameless process in which a wood block is pressed against a rotating metal wheel for the production of the smoke while it burns due to the heat generated by the process of friction. Smoldering in this method wood shaving is used to produce heat and shaving produce smolder effect rather than ignite. This smoldering results in the production of smoke which is utilized for the purpose of smoking. Types of freezing in fish and seafoods. In this we will talk about the various freezing methods. Freezer results in reduction in the temperature about 0 degree centigrade or freezing where the temperature is dropped below minus 18 degree centigrade. On fishing vessels, the fish are refrigerated mechanically by circulating cold air or by packing the fish in boxes with ice. Once chilled or frozen, the fish need further cooling to maintain the low temperature. Therefore, various freezing systems applied to the freezing of the fish are number one, air blast freezing, number two, plate and contact freezing, number three, spray or immersion freezing, number four, immersion freezing in brine, number five, carbon dioxide freezers, number six, liquid nitrogen freezers, number seven, individual quick freezer. We will be discussing the types of freezer over here. In this freezing, a continuous stream of cold air is passed over the product for a particular residence time. Having their application in batch are our continuous process of freezing of fish products. The main advantage of air, air blast freezer is its durability. This method of freezing is suitable for irregular shape, different size or non-deformable products like fishes. Here we will talk about plate freezing. In this freezing the product is placed in direct contact with the hollow metal freezer plates through which a cold fluid is passed. Plate freezers are used for freezing of the fish but not so extensively and don't have versatile application as like as air blast freezers. According to arrangements of the plates, they are classified as horizontal and vertical type. The plates are made up of extrude aluminum having channels through which liquid refrigerant is passed. Heat transfer takes place through upper and lower surface of the plate and freezing is accomplished by direct contact between the cold plate and the product itself. The vertical plate freezer is suitable for freezing whole fish at sea or for bulk freezing. Horizontal plate freezers are used for the production of the laminated fish blocks which may be 25 to 100 mm thick and packs of the prawns. Types of freezing. Here we are talking about spray or individual quick freezers. In this freezing product is placed in direct contact with the fluid refrigerant. They are mainly used for IQF products and have limited applications of fish processing and are used for high quality products. 
spray freezers are also having their category of cryogenic freezers where a temperature about minus 78 degrees centigrade is applied in this freezing very rapid rate of freezing is achieved by exposing the product either unpacked or single layer packed in this spiral freezer product is facilitated through a spiral cause and then rotated and taken out of the cause while supplying the air cold air at a temperature of minus 36 degree centigrade so that the product would have a temperature of minus 18 degree centigrade as a final temperature of the product in this freezing the quality of the product is better than that of the other freezing processes because the process gives individual freezing to the individual product the refrigerant is sprayed onto the product itself so that the heat will take out out of the product immersion freeze freezing in immersion freezer surface of the fish is exposed by dipping in a solution to have direct heat transfer freezing medium used is normally sodium chloride that is brine solution which have a eutectic point of minus 21.2 degree centigrade this leads the brine to reach a temperature of about minus 15 degree centigrade during the process of freezing freezing of large tuna in brine may take three days to achieve complete freezing saturated brine freezers at minus 21 degree centigrade and this is the most common medium used in immersion freezing brine freezing is rapid and is adaptable for continuous operation however the fish will absorb some salt which will depend on several factors such as temperature of the brine duration of the immersion fat content of the fish and the surface area exposed by the fish salt absorption can to a great extent be reduced by using mixture of glucose or corn syrup and salt as the refrigerant a glucose salt solution will give a protective glaze to a product and hence it will not stick together contamination of medium and subsequent cross contamination of batches is a major disadvantage of this process in this slide we will talk about thawing of the fish and seafoods thawing in water while simple and inexpensive may cause the fish to lose quality in terms of the flavor and appearance vacuum thawers consist of eight tight chambers into which fish is loaded using trolleys faster thawing of fish is achieved by the use of microwave and electrical heating process called a dielectric process electrical methods applied are expensive but when controlled and well applied results good quality thawed fish thawing of the fish for reprocessing considered important in maintenance of the fish quality when thawed in the air temperature should not be allowed to rise above 20 degree centigrade which is circulated by fans during thawing the thawing system used should consider the following points first is localized overheating of the fish second point is excessive drip loss of the fish third point is dehydration of the fish fourth point is bacterial growth of the fish summary here we will summarize what we have done grading is a practice of selectively harvesting fish so that only the best quality fish harvested and fishers get their high prices for that chilling is the process of cooling fish or fish products to temperatures approaching that of the melting ice that is 0 degree centigrade to 5 degree centigrade so to achieve the quality of the graded fish until it this further 
processed. Loss of the quality in the fish is brought about initially by autolytic deterioration due to the action of enzymes which inactivate at above chilling temperature. This leads the growth of the microorganisms on the surface of the fish. Thereof, slime develops on the surface, gives suitable condition to the bacteria, causing breakdown of the tissues and subsequently deterioration of the fish and fish products. Therefore, after chilling, the process of freezing, which comprises air blast freezing, immersion, liquid nitrogen, liquid carbon, etc., is applied to achieve longer shelf life of the fish and the fish products. So students, let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. In this module, we have learned about seafoods and its preservation techniques. We have discussed the types of fish, their grading and objective of grading. And even we have gone further in terms of chilling and freezing methods, including smoking techniques for the preservation of the fish. We have also discussed the factors which affects the quality of the fish, that are the rate of chilling and the thawing of fish. Thank you. We have seen different criteria of fish grading as well as different technological aspects of chilling and freezing in the fish and seafood processing, which has been explained well by my co-author. Now, the next processes are fish smoking, pickling, salting, and marination, which are very important aspects in fish processing. And these aspects will be explained to you in the next module. Thank you.